Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to show you how to move from a Synology NAS to a Ugreen NAS safely without losing any of your data. Whether you're upgrading or just experimenting, I'm gonna show you three reliable methods that every home labber should know. Before we dive into the three methods, I just wanna know, are you switching to Ugreen or considering switching to Ugreen because of performance, price, or just simply curiosity? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear what's driving your motivation. Ugreen's NAS lineup is quickly becoming a favorite in the home lab scene, offering open hardware and a clean OS. But there is one catch. Synology uses DSM while Ugreen runs Ugreen OS, meaning you can't just pull the drives out of the Synology and put them in the Ugreen. So instead, you're going to have to do what's called a file-based migration, and today I'm going to discuss three different methods. Quick question, how many of you have ever tried to swap drives between brands? Did it work out or was it one of those never again moments? So the first and probably the easiest method is a network file transfer. You can use SMB, CIFS, NFS, or even RSync. If you have both devices on the same network, any of these would make a great option. On your Synology device, open up the file station, click the Tools drop-down, select Mount Remote Folder, and then select CIFS Shared Folder. This would be a shared folder on your Ugreen device. So once the Ugreen Shared Folder is mounted on the Synology, you can easily drag and copy files over to your Ugreen NAS safely. Okay, so I'm just wondering, of the transfer protocols that I mentioned, which would be your protocol of choice? Also, I have a pro tip for you. If you have large amounts of data to move between devices, you might want to consider using something like R-Sync. If you'd like to see a video on how to set that up between the Synology and the Ugreen, let me know down in the comments. So the second method is also pretty simple and kind of old school. If you happen to have an extra USB drive laying around, that could be a great way to move files between the two devices. All you would have to do is one, plug the external drive into the Synology device, then simply use File Station to copy over your shared folders to that device. When you're done, safely eject the USB drive and then plug it into your Ugreen NAS and use the file manager on the Ugreen NAS to then copy the files or move them from the USB drive over to your Ugreen NAS. And here's another pro tip for you that'll be sure to save you some time and frustration. Be sure to format that external drive as XFAT. So the third and final method I wanna to mention today is perfect if you're already backing up to the cloud, such as Google Drive. Why not leverage that as a way to move files between your devices? On the Synology device, go ahead and install CloudSync. On the Ugreen device, go ahead and install Cloud Drive. So once you have both NAS devices connected to Google Drive, you could then move your data safely from Synology over to Google Drive and then from Google Drive down to your Ugreen NAS. I'm curious, who here actually uses a cloud service as a backup location? Let me know, again, down in the comments. Whichever method you decide to use, always double check your data. Compare file counts or use checksums to make sure everything transferred correctly. And remember, don't attempt to move the physical drives from the Synology over to the Ugreen NAS. They use different RAID structures and different file systems. You could possibly corrupt your data. So I'm curious, which of these options mentioned today best fits your setup? Let me know down below. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. If you're interested in a step-by-step -step video tutorial on any of the three methods mentioned today, let me know down in the comments below. Also, let's keep the conversation going. Do you think Ugreen has what it takes to compete with Synology in the upcoming year? And finally, if you're interested in seeing how I backed up my Ugreen NAS over to my Synology NAS using R-Sync, click the video on the screen.